my name is Holly. I am, am an RMT in the community of London here. I have been an RMT uh, for seven years. I worked with a chiropractor for six years and now I run a home-based business, which is probably one of the best uh, benefits of being an RMT. You have a very flexible schedule. Um, you get to make your own hours and um, be your own boss. When it comes to being a massage therapist, I'm most passionate about helping my clients. Uh, most people come with um, an injury, a chronic condition, something that needs uh, assistance and I'm more than happy to help and apply my skills and make them feel like their best self. To become a teacher, um, the most inspirational thing is sharing the knowledge I have and the love that I have for this profession and um, I, I consider myself to be overflowing with uh, knowledge and compassion and I want to give that to students who also share that love for this profession. Our massage therapy program involves um, roughly two years of curriculum. We get into anatomy, uh, physiology, our hands-on techniques, learning all sorts of conditions of the body and how to treat them. So we can see a very diverse um, group of people and we are able to uh, provide safe and effective treatment for multiple groups of people. Students will learn their hands-on techniques, um, how to treat a, a wide array of conditions. Uh, they will learn, <clears throat> learn the human systems of the body as well as anatomy of the body. Students are on campus uh, five days a week. We spend a lot of time hands-on that involves um, exchanging massages, learning new techniques, trying them out on each other. Um, uh, working on some remedial exercise as well to incorporate that into uh, a full treatment. I think it's the best it's the best way to feel uh, a treatment and receive a treatment as or give a treatment as well so that you can understand both sides of of being a therapist and um, a student. In your last uh, semester of the program, you actually get to work in public clinic. So what that means is two days a week, we have, um, we have people from the community come in and receive a student massage. Um, it's really great for the students to actually treat humans that are not uh, your classmates. So actually see people in the community and, and get a feel for what real life practice is going to be like. Student, students tend to enjoy the hands-on aspect the most. Um, that's the best spot where they get to apply, apply their skills and, and get feedback from their classmates and, and see, um, see how they're progressing. I think any candidate who's looking to take this program um, should have, a, should have a strong desire to help others. Um, that's the most rewarding part of this job is someone comes in not feeling their best and your goal is to have them feel their best when they leave. Right now is an interesting time for massage therapists. There's such a high demand in our community. There's actually more jobs available than there are therapists to provide them. So this is a really, really great opportunity to become a massage therapist and really kickstart your career and, um, and be able to help as many people as possible. So once you graduate the massage therapy program, our minimum requirement is a 70% average across the board that earns you your diploma. And then you are required to um, register with the CMTO, that's the College of Massage Therapists of Ontario, and their job is to ensure that you are safe to protect the public. So what that means is you've demonstrated to your college, us as Anderson College, you're able to demonstrate that you are ready to go to the CMTO and perform the required tasks, uh, the required testing, and, um, and then they, um, they're the ones who certify you and then you're able to uh, start working in the field. Some advice for a future student uh, would be to um, come to school or be prepared to come to school and be ready to learn. 